Hi, Kesho here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. In this video, let's see the different ways to create the data frame in PySpark. So in there, we'll see how do we create the data frame from RDD. Again, in that method, we'll see with create data frame function and without create data frame function. And second way, create data frame from the list collection in there again with create data frame and uh, with create data frame from row type and and in there again we see how do we create the data frame from predefined schema finally we also see how do we create the data frame from data sources like files and any other databases all right so let's get started all right i already connected to databricks community edition and also i imported the required methods as well all right and I defined the data, just some sample records, and also created the fields for those you know records. All right. Before we create the data frame from RDD, first of all, we have to have RDD created. I'm gonna just create RDD here. So RDD equals to Spark dot. I'm gonna create RDD with the parallelize function. So Spark context dot parallelize i'm gonna just call the data in here so first i need to execute all the methods those i imported and then let me just execute this data and in here it is spark context all right it is context here it should be small all right so the rdd is created now let me see the data in rdd so as you know that rdd is a resilient distributed data set so in other way you can say that it's a um, distributed data collection with no schema all right so rdd is created and there will be data in there let's see we can see the data from rdd by using collect function all right there are three records inserted in other way we can we can even see the data with take function so what are the number of records you want to display you can just you know specify the order if I specify five, so there are only three rows. It has displayed all the three rows. All right. So now let's create the data frame. I'm going to just say RDD to DF. So RDD dot, the first method I'm going to create with create data frame function. All right. Let's see. Just say spark dot create data frame I'm going to just say already the one which already we created on top and 2df is the function we need to use and now I'm going to just say columns we already uh, defined which has got the required column names all right see it has thrown error because the number of you know values in rdd it's not matched with the columns those we are calling so we cannot use columns as is we need to say all the values from the list that we created as columns now it should be created all right so there is data frame created i'm gonna just display the data I'll display rdd to data frame All right, so there is data frame created with required fields. Okay, now let's see create data frame from RDD without create data frame function. All right, so I'm gonna just say RDD to DF1. RDD dot 
2df and here I'm gonna just say columns now in here we don't need to specify the star it will pick all the values from the columns all right now I can display all right all right so if I don't specify the columns let's see if data frame is created yes of course data frame would have been created but it's created without fields because rd doesn't have schema it has got the rows but it doesn't have schema that's why you know data frame is created with some default field names all right so we want rd i mean data frame to be created with defined schema i would say that defined column names so I'm going to just use again columns. Now see, data frame is created with the required fields and rows in there. All right. So this is how we can create data frame from existing RDD. One with using create data frame function and without even using create data frame function also we can create data frame from rdd directly all right so now let's see how do we create the data frame from list collection all right in there again we're gonna use create data frame function i'm gonna just say so df1 i'm gonna say spark dot create data frame So in here, I'm going to just say data. So before we did not give data because we have already already created from RDD, we directly created data frame. In here, now we are not creating from RDD. We are directly calling the data and then to DF. In here again, we need to specify the columns. All right. Spark session, create data frame. All right okay so now let me display the data from df1 all right there is data frame created and data in there so in the second method let's see how do we create the data frame using create data frame but it should be from row type all right, first let's convert that you know list collection to row type. Here we need to provide two arguments to the data frame create data frame function. Those are row type as well as schema. Those two arguments we need to provide. Let's convert our list collection into row type. So I'm gonna say row data. So I'm gonna just you know convert that using map and lambda functions. I'm defining x then i'm gonna say row of all from x and data all right so let me execute all right it has executed so now let me create data frame df2 equals to spark dot create data frame In here, I'm going to provide those two arguments row data which we created above, and also the columns we already have defined in there. Okay, so columns it's small, that's okay. All right, it is executed and data frame also created. Now let me display the data frame. All right, there is data frame created and also data in there. So this is how we can create data frame from row type. All right, the third method in there is create data frame with predefined schema. So we have to have the schema defined i'm gonna define the schema using struct type 
and struct field so this struct type and struct fields are the classes through which we can define the structure for the data frame all right so i already imported the required you know uh, methods in there all right we already have required methods imported so along with struct type and struct field i imported string type and also integer type because we're going to define the schema type as well so so i'm going to create data again i'm going to just say data 2 so let me define the data here i'm going to just provide the location and salary okay this values are enough let me just copy and paste and define two more rows i think these two rows are enough for now let, okay fine so data 2 is defined now i'm going to create the schema uh, by defining the types those we required so i'm going to use struct type struct field struct field is to define the field name to create the field name i'm going to just say struct field and field name i'm going to give as id and type of the field i'm going to make it as nullable the same way let me define the other field we got three four fields in there so let me create them e name and this one is going to be int integer type string type it's okay now i'm gonna make it as location and this is gonna be string type and this one salary this gonna be integer type again let me take up this comma all right we created the schema as well all right schema is defined now i'm gonna create data frame df4 equals to spark dot create data frame in here i'm gonna provide data 2 and pause it like this okay so i'm gonna just display data frame 4 all right so there is data frame created and also required fields and rows in there so we are done creating data frame with second method create data frame from list collection all right in there we saw three ways using create data frame straight away with you know from list collection and also we created data frame from row type and also we created data frame with predefined schema so let's see how do we create the data frame from okay first let me see if i have already files imported into databricks i'm gonna say db utils.fs.ls i'm gonna list out all the files those we have in file store tables that should be in sync records all right so i got a lot of files in there so i'm gonna take the first one the csv file so let me create data frame from this file directly so i'm gonna just paste it over here so df5 equals to spark dot read csv read dot csv from the path copy this path directly all right so i'm not defining any headers in there so let me see 
all right there is data frame creator let me just display there is data frame created but uh, there are no fields available so it took default fields so because I did not say header equals to true so I'm gonna just say use the first row has headers if I say header equals to true it will take first row has headers so now let me display all right so there is data frame created data has been imported from the CSV file and also required fields also been created all right I hope this is clear for you guys so I shown a few of the methods through which we can create our data frames like you know creating data frame from RDD directly in there we saw uh, two ways and creating data frame from list in there again we saw you know uh, three ways and creating data frame from data sources we saw one example creating data frame from csv all right i hope this is clear for you guys we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you